before I begin my statement, I'd like to have a moment of silence and acknowledgement for the victims of the Ghost of Fire tragedy and the families who are undoubtedly going through a difficult uh, time, um, regardless of where we stood and as far as Max Harris's involvement in that, um, our hearts really have gone out for them. We know this has not been an easy process, and um, we certainly keep them in our prayers. This isn't a time for us to talk about the two years that my innocent young client has spent in jail. Um, I think this is a time to thank the community, thank all of the community for their tremendous outpouring of support for Max Harris throughout this process. We want to thank the jury, even the jurors that didn't uh, continue to deliberate along with everybody else. Everybody quite heroically put their lives on hold, worked diligently uh, to come to a verdict, and we are eternally grateful for the verdict they came to for Max Harris. Obviously, there's a lot of people to thank. There's at least two dozen people that volunteered on our legal team to help. Too many names to mention, but Alameda County Public Defender's Office, San Francisco County Public Defender's Office are two organizations that we owe a tremendous debt to as well for their assistance. Finally, we want to call on the City of Oakland and Alameda County to use this as an opportunity to clean house, to become accountable, to recognize the tremendous duty they have to the citizens of these communities to do their job, to do it well, to protect, to serve, to be accountable and to have the courage that when something goes wrong to step forward and say, you know what, we made a mistake, even if there are 30 people who died. The community needs that from the city of Oakland. The community cannot be safe until we get accountable leadership in the city and in the county. And that's been the, not the biggest tragedy, but next to the loss of lives and the tremendous impact on everybody who lost loved ones, that's been the biggest tragedy here, is not one Oakland city official has stepped forward and said, this is how we're going to fix it. This is how we're going to make this community better. This is what we did wrong. Not one city official had the courage to get up on the witness stand and tell the truth. You know, it, it was just very, very sad. And this isn't a time to celebrate for Max Harris uh, because this community is sick. This community is sick because the leadership is sick. And we need reform and we need a change. And that's our challenge to the leaders here in this city. If you care about the city, you have pride and integrity, to do something and be honest about it. Max, uh, sorry, Max spent two and a half years behind bars. What's next for him? How did he get his life back together after all this? Um, it's going to start with a nice vegan meal that's not served by Santa Rita Jail, and then we'll take it from there. I don't, I don't, I can't answer that. Once he found out the, the verdict, what were his first responses or reactions? Um, he tried to stop me from crying. And, uh, you know, he was emotional and uh, we were all emotional and we didn't really say much. First, I want to say I'm sorry. As somebody who's lost a child, I understand the pain, and I know that they likely will never be able to find peace with what happened, and that I apologize um, that if anything that we did inflamed them. I was always under the belief that Max Harris was innocent, and I did what I had to do to get him home. And our hearts are with those families and uh, everybody who's been victimized by this tragedy. I'm going to turn this over to my co-counsel, Tyler Smith, to make a statement. You know, none of this ever would have happened in the first place if the income inequality, the injustice with 
respect to the income inequality and the housing crisis weren't as bad, wasn't permitted to get as bad as it has gotten in the Bay Area and in Oakland in the last few years. These artists were living in this warehouse because they didn't have too many other options. They were, they were going to be on the street otherwise. Uh, they were living there, in essence, out of necessity. And there were many other warehouses in Oakland very similar uh, as the Ghost Ship Warehouse. And the reason they're there is because of the housing crisis that we're facing. So uh, I hope that the Oakland City, that the leaders of the City of Oakland, uh, Mayor Schaff uh, and others, take real uh, measurable steps to address this issue uh, first and foremost. So I echo, I echo my colleagues' comments that change and reform really needs to happen. With that said, uh, we're incredibly uh, sorrowful. We always have been very sorrowful um, for the families. It's an incredible loss that they suffered. This is something that, you know, we've been a little bit uh, hamstrung from saying to the media while the trial was going on, while the jury was deliberating. Um, but now that they've reached a verdict, we can really uh, let them know how truly sorry and sad for them that we are. Um, Max is incredibly sorry and sad for them. Uh, he's always expressed his remorse, his wish that he could have done something different to save someone that died that night. We're incredibly grateful to all the members of the jury, all of the alternates, um, every juror that, sit there, that sat there through these six months was incredibly gracious to give all of their time and undivided attention and it was uh, it was it, it took a lot of hard work for them to to get to this but you know they listened to all of the evidence very carefully so I really commend all of them they did a fantastic job and we're very grateful that they were able to come to the not guilty verdict